Oh, hi. It's George the geologist here. I'm back in the Discovery Lab with my friends at UNE Discovery Voyager, uh, online even. And uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make one of the most important tools that a geologist can have. One of these things. The geological map. So a geological map, it's kind of a little bit like a road map, but all of these different colours represent a different type of rock. And we can see we've got Armadale over here, and this one goes all the way over to Dorigo. And we can see all the different types of rocks that we might encounter along the way. And the best bit is, you can make your own geological map if you want. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So to make your own geological map, we need a few different things. First of all, it's a clipboard. And we need a base map. So this could be like the, um, a topographic map of a national park, or in this case, I'm just using a picture I got off of Google Maps. And we can see it all. This, this is just the town of Armadale. We've got all the streets and things named on there, so we can easily find where we are on our map. We also need some tracing paper. And we're gonna pop that over the top of our map. And this is going to become our geological map. And it's a good idea as well to have a notebook and a pen to write down what different types of rocks you find uh, as we're mapping so that we can remember what we saw at other places. So how do we make a geological map? Well, we go for a walk. So I've been doing this around Armadale and I'll walk down the street and when I find a rock, I'll pick it up and have a look at it and see what it is. In this case, this is a nice little bit of sandstone that's got some darker layers running through it. So I'll write that down in my notebook where I found it. And then on my geological map, I'll choose a color for it. In this case, I've got a blue purple here. And I just put a little color where I found the rock. So I think this one came from near Donnelly Street. There we go, just like that. And then we keep walking. And perhaps you find a different type of rock as we go along. I've also found some of this basalt here. So basalt is going to get a different colour. I used orange for mine. And I found this at the top of the hill up here. So I'll colour in a little spot there for the basalt. And then we just keep going and going and going. And it's a good idea to have a good range of coloured pencils because you don't know just how many different types of rocks you're going to find. So I've been working on my geological map for a little while now. And now it looks like this. So at the top of the hill at Armadale, we've got lots of basalt. And there's a hill at the south of Armadale as well, with some basalt on it as well. And all that sandstone sort of runs through the middle. And we've got that creek that runs through Armadale as well, Jumerick Creek, which is full of little pebbles and sand and things that covers up all the other types of rock. So that's what all my yellow is. So you can do this wherever you go. Uh, you just need a little bit of uh, preparation before you go to get that tracing paper and your base map ready. Um, if you have a go at this, maybe over the summer holidays when you're on, uh, if down at the beach or going for a walk in a national park, give it a go. And I'd love to see what your geological maps look like. My colouring in is still a little bit uneven on this one, so. I'm gonna get back to work. See you later.